At 1.30 I placed a 2 o'clock order for this place and I didn't have my food ready till 2.10 and it was pretty slow in there, so great start so far. I'm at Muya. I was asking for places to go in Virginia and it was recommended to me that I could try Muya. But I'm not in Virginia and they have one location in the Carolinas, well two if you count the college one, but it's here in Charlotte. So, giving it a shot. It's burgers. I got the green chili queso. I'm hungry. I want it. It sounded good. When you go in there, it's like a Five Guys almost. Because they got bags of potatoes everywhere because they do the hand cut fries that kind of look like Five Guys. Let's try one of those bad boys. Mm. Yeah. That's good. Tastes like a fry from Five Guys. Can't complain there. Then I got the patty melt. I always get comments telling me to try patty melts. I don't get them a lot. But I got it here. It's new. It looked good. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know about this, but let me, let me show you this burger. Let me get our stupid selfie thumbnail here with the patty melt, which I, it looks good. The bun is something else. Here we go. go. Uh, okay. Um, Yes, they flip the bun upside down and they hand bake the buns in the store, which is kind of cool. Super greasy, cheesy. Uh, there's like, well, no, that's the mustard sauce they got on there. Yeah, they flip the bun over and they grill it, but they didn't do a great job with that. So it's just this buttery, mustardy, goopy mess. There's two kinds of cheese, onions. Let's give it a shot. Now this costs like $10.50, so it is not a cheap burger. But I guess that's kind of the going rate for anything with quality nowadays. The mustard sauce is just dripping everywhere. And yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Nothing crazy good, though. Um, they have tractor beverages in there, so I got their, like, strawberry dragon fruit or something. Not bad. They've got something similar to Chipotle. It's not the same thing. Yeah, the burger, super messy. Like I said, tons of that sauce coming out. But you get two beefy patties, which I know some of you don't like the smashed ones I love, so this is more in line with what you're after, I'd assume. Good flavor, fresh. I wish the bun was more grilled instead of just soaked in butter. I can't really complain. It's, it's pretty tasty. It's got onions on there. And who's going to look at that and not say, wow, I want one, right? <laughs> yeah, I never really heard of this place. It's a chain. They're all over. Um, like I said, this is the only one in the Carolinas, except the one that's at, like, UNC Wilmington or something. Um, this is over in Matthews. There's a Costco here. The other Costco. I didn't know where it was. It's right here. <laughs> and the mustard sauce is subtle enough that if you're not a huge mustard person, like if you like honey mustard... You would enjoy this still. You know, I, I came in expecting to not like this. I was told it was disappointing. But it's actually pretty good. At least this burger. Now, they've got a ton of burgers, some of which sound so stupid. Like, there's one that... What did they call it? I don't know. It's got a hot dog on it. It's a burger and a hot dog. It's, it's too much. It's too much is what it is. But that one was just right. Let's try the green chili queso. Oh, you can smell the, the green chilies immediately. Mm. Yeah, hand cut fries are always the way to go. So regardless of how good that burger was, these, these are fantastic. I'm thinking of reintroducing the memberships on the channel. It's been a while. It's been a long while. If you've been around here, um, <clears throat> it used to exist. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I don't know, $5 or less. Extra content, weekly lives or bi-weekly lives or something. 
giveaways. Um, you get a little icon next to your name on the comments. I don't know. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. It's just a way to show support, I guess. You don't have to do it. You're like, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know if I should do it. I've, I've been weighing it out. I don't want it to be... I don't want it to be too expensive, but... It's also got to cover the extra effort I'd put in for it. Um, hopefully, if I got enough people, it would kind of help fund some of the travel I want to do. To film in other states. I don't know. Could just be a big flop. You never know. These are good, though. Oh, I was going to look this up. There's money in this part of Charlotte. I came across a Ferrari... SUV? I think it was an SUV or a crossover or something. When did that happen? How new is that? I was doing a U-turn on a green, and this guy was also trying to turn. He had a he had a red light. But he had to stop so I could pass. So I stared at this thing for a good, like, five seconds there. Um, didn't know that existed. Really nice looking. These fries don't need the queso, but damn, is it good. They also have house-made chips they do with the gajillion potatoes that are stacked all over. Yeah, honestly, this is really satisfying. I, this is a hike for me. It's about 30 minutes away, so I probably won't come back unless there's something crazy exciting and new. But if there were more of these, I think they might do well, assuming the service keeps up. <laughs> he did apologize for the wait. I'll give him that. But if I thought ordering a half hour early wasn't enough, like, I don't know. You'd think that would do it, right? Usually they have that stuff ready a little early if you go early enough. Ah. So if you're still watching, you probably watched enough of my stuff. I mentioned before that I was, like, doing pretty good on dieting and losing weight. I've been kind of slacking the past couple of weeks, admittedly. So I'm kind of stalled out at 22 pounds down. Um... This sure isn't helping, but it is what it is. Um, maybe we'll behave this week. It's gonna be a weird week on the channel. There's gonna be an exercise bike video. I know, I know, it doesn't belong. Just, just, just roll with that. Just bear with me, okay? <laughs> I get a free exercise bike. I can't complain. It's like a Peloton, but cheaper, and basically the same thing. It looks cool. I didn't die carrying it up the stairs, so that's a plus. Three flights of stairs. Ugh. FedEx kid did not want to bring it up. Nah. So that's coming. Um, I was in Fort Mill yesterday, and there was Pucker Butt Pepper Company, and that's uh, that's the shop of the. Uh, Smoking Ed, the guy that makes the Carolina Reaper and the Pepper X for hot ones. There's hot ones signs. There's all these sauces. It's a cool little shop. There's seasonings. They got all the sauces in their little fridge that you can try before you buy. I got a steak seasoning that has Pepper X in it. So it's really good. And then it's really hot. It's weird. I liked it. I might cook with that later. We'll see. Yeah. These, uh, these were good. This all hit the spot. It's all hit the spot. The queso, the cheese, it's all hitting all the spots in my arteries, but it's hit the spot. So, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to get out of this crazy, crazy busy packed parking lot. This whole plaza, it's insane. Wild. Um, thanks for watching. This is Muya. Pretty good. Pretty good. Wasn't expecting that. See you guys.